When automating, I often have the need to split and join text. It can, for example, be splitting a file path to get a folder name or combining names into a username or an email address. In this episode, we're going to look at native ways to split and join strings using PowerShell on Linux, macOS, and Windows. My name is Simon, and this is episode seven of my free PowerShell course, Highway to PowerShell. Before we dive in, here's a few words from our sponsor. Scriptrunner, the number one for PowerShell management, offers a free PowerShell poster for your office wall, covering the PowerShell basics and the most important commands. Since you're here to learn PowerShell, this poster might be a great resource for you. If you want one, the link is in the description below. In episode 6, we used the .NET methods on a string object to examine, compare, and modify strings. In this episode, we're going to look at some native PowerShell techniques to work with strings. Let's start with looking at the split operator. The split operator is used to split one or more strings into smaller pieces, and it can be used in three different ways. The first and most simple way is to split any number of strings using the default delimiter of whitespace. If we want to split more than one string, we need to put them within parentheses for PowerShell to understand that we want to split them all. As we see here, putting one or more strings to the right of the split operator and nothing to the left of the operator will split on whitebase characters, like space, tab, and new line. Once again, note that using more than one string here requires the strings to be enclosed in parentheses. This is because of something called operator precedence. You can read more about it by running get help about operator precedence or by using the link in the description below. If we want to save space or uh, make it more readable, we can save the strings in a variable first and then pass the variable to split. The second way to use the split operator is by using a custom delimiter. This time we need to put the string we want to split to the left of the operator and put the delimiter to the right. Here we split an email address at the at sign. Just like I showed in episode 6, we can store the output in two variables. Here the first string will end up in the user variable and the rest will end up in the domain variable. Now let's try to split the user part in first name and last name. Now that didn't go as we expected. This is because the split operator by default expects the delimiter to be a regular expression. A regular expression is a way to express a pattern to search for in a text. And it's almost a language by itself. I'm going to cover the basics of regular expressions in the next episode. For now, we only need to know that the dot has a special meaning in regular expressions. To tell split to use an actual dot and not interpret the special meaning, we need to escape the dot using a backslash. Now that's better. If I want to keep the delimiter in the result, I can put the parentheses around it. The split operator also takes a maximum count as a parameter. If I only want to split my string in two pieces, I can give it a maximum count of two. If I include the delimiter in the output, the delimiter does not count toward the maximum number of strings. Since PowerShell 7, I can also use a negative number as a maximum count. This will keep all the pieces from the end of the string instead of the beginning. To split at all delimiters, I can set a maximum count to zero. As the third input to split, I can specify a set of options to change the behavior of split. The options are grouped by the split type, which can be either simple match or regex match, where regex match is the default. Simple match will simply match our delimiter exactly, and we don't need to think about escaping any characters. This could be used to split the username like we did before. Regex match has a few more options. The one I think might be the most useful is the option ignore pattern whitespace, which will let me add any amount of whitespace characters like space and new line to my pattern without changing the effect of the pattern. It also lets me use a number sign to add comments to my pattern. This can come in handy when dealing with more complex patterns. Here is a very simple example where I want to split on a dot or a space. In regular expression, or is expressed as a pipe character. And since we use the ignore pattern whitespace option, we need to escape the space if we want it to be part of the pattern. This might make it a bit easier to read and understand. Now that's enough of regular expressions for this time. Let's look at the third way to use the split operator. The third way we can use split is by splitting on a dynamic delimiter by using a script block. 
Let's imagine we have a text where we want to split out all the words. One way to do this is to split on multiple delimiters. Here we're splitting on a space, a comma, an exclamation mark, and a dot. Just like we learned in episode 3, dollar underscore represents the current value, and for each character in our string, we are checking if it exists in our list of delimiters. As you can see, we got a few empty lines returned. That is the empty part between, for example, a comma and a space. We can easily filter the empty values out by using where object, just like we did in episode 3. There are a lot of creative things you can do with splitting on a dynamic delimiter. Let me know which ways you can think of in the comments. Once we have split the string into multiple strings, maybe it makes sense to put them back together again. PowerShell does of course support this as well. This time we're going to use the join operator. Join will join any number of strings into one string. There are two ways to use the join operator. The first one will just combine a number of strings. Just like with split, we need to use parentheses when we type the strings in line, like this. A more common way is probably to join all strings in a variable, like this. When joining strings, it is common to want to insert something in between the strings. In the example above, it would for example look better with a space between each word. The second way to use join is by placing the strings we want to join to the left, which will let us specify a delimiter to the right. Before I summarize, if you learned something from this video, please give it a like. And once again, please leave a comment telling me what you liked and what you would like to see more of in the future. Or just say hello. To summarize, we can split strings using the split operator. Just putting strings to the right of split will split on whitespace characters. Putting a string to the left and a delimiter to the right will split on that delimiter and close the delimiter in parentheses to keep it in the output. The delimiter is a regular expression, and some characters will have special meaning. After the delimiter, we can supply two additional arguments, a maximum count of strings to return, and a set of options. Use the option simple match to match your string exactly, and not have to care about regular expressions. The join operator works similar to split. Put multiple strings to the right of the operator just to glue them all together. Putting strings to the left of the join operator and a delimiter to the right will put the delimiter in between each string. That was all for this time. I hope I'll see you next time. And until then, keep automating.